Hello everybody. Please excuse the late arrival of episode 12. I started reading a book from the sci-fi bundle I bought on Humble Bundle and I couldn't force myself to stop reading other than to go to sleep until this morning. Three books later. It sometimes happens to me when I start reading a book or watching a decent TV series or playing a game I like. Also, while we are at it, please ignore the lack of sound in today's in-game footage. I kinda forgot to turn the sound back on after I watched some <coughs> educational videos before bed last night. Purely for research purposes, I swear. Anyway, let's get to the Entropia stuff now, shall we? A nice person sent me a message asking if I was dorky from YouTube while I was trying to sell some blueprints. This person wanted to know if I had some sweat for sale. I'm glad I had about 5.8k bottles in my Arcadian stash and sold it for 1 pet per k. I thought I'd thank this player for buying my sweat right here at the start. So thank you if you are watching this. This means though that I no longer have any sweat left on Arcadia as I was not sweating this week either. I still have a small sweat stash on Siren and a bigger one on Rocktropia. If you see me on those planets at a time when you want to buy some sweat, I will gladly sell you some at one pet per K. However, for now I shall remain on Arcadia Moon to do the dailies here. I want to collect all the hazmat suit parts and perhaps camp the daily maintenance mission for some universal ammo afterwards as I skill up my crafting and possibly also mining here for a few more weeks. Which brings me to one of the highlights of the last week. I finally passed 314,000 total skill points. Hopefully I can get up to 315,000 in another week or two. Would be fairly easy normally, but I am focusing on low level inexpensive activities right now. Which um, brings me to another highlight of last week. I dropped a level 13 amp while I was on Calypso this weekend and made roughly one or two pet profit. I recorded that run, but for some reason the footage is extremely choppy at times, so I will not be releasing it as a separate video. AMD Relive has been acting up lately for me. Guess it's time to switch back to OBS. Anyway, while we are on the topic of AMD sucking, I'd like to discuss the Arcadia Mundi revenue and the returns on the rest of my investments. Mundi's paid out once over the week giving one pack per deed. At the same time, Arcadia Underground deed paid out four times, each time paying one pack, meaning it paid out four times as much as Arcadia Moon deed. Let that sink in. Although I do expect AMDs to start paying out more months or years down the line, when there is more stuff going on up there. As for the Crystal Palace shares, the payout was 2 pack per share. So my 75 shares paid me 1 pet 50 pack bringing my total return since purchase up to 17 pet 69 pack. It seems that in couple more weeks the dividends will have paid back 2 of my shares in their entirety already. That is not bad at all. To conclude last week's report, I can say that I am rather content with reaching the 314k total skill as well as with the CP share dividends. They are still going strong and I sincerely hope they will keep it up for years to come. AUDs seem to be paying decently as well, however AMD still have a lot of room to improve. We really need some crazy rich person running around with level 13s 24-7 up there. 
Either way, thanks for watching and good luck out there whether you are playing Entropia Universe or not. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.